What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fallout for Mods for the PS4 guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 weapon mods for the PS4 that I really think you guys should be downloading if you guys do not have them already. We're going to be covering ranged weapons and melee weapons and grenades and all that stuff. So we have something for everybody. So stick around because you guys may find something that you do like. So uh, every single mod is in the description with links if you guys want to go and check them out on Bethesda.net. And yeah, so let's just jump straight into it. So the first mod we have is the PS4 weapons pack mage fists and magic and it's by noir black now this mod requires you to have the ps4 player bunker and combat simulator mod uh which is also by noir black in order to use this mod so those are both going to be in the description as well you need the uh second mod that i just stated in order to use this mod now the player bunker and combat simulator mod gives you this testing range for you to try out all of the new weapons that you downloaded so uh we have some cool things in the weapons pack for the mage fists and magic like this cool orb of lightning that just goes around traveling to enemies and just killing them it's really really awesome and we have other things as well such as if we can go through uh, i do have some extra ones in here like the plasma ball if we throw this at an enemy it'll go to them and explode on them and then we have the lightning bolt which literally like turns you into zeus like you're throwing lightning bolts at people it's incredible it's so so cool so uh yeah noir black really put some good effort into his mods and uh, i definitely think you guys should check them out because they're all very very unique so uh, definitely give it a look but yeah that's pretty much it for this mod guys let's take a look at the next one now next up guys we have the ps4 weapons pack bio weapons and it is once again by noir black now as you can see already yes this this does look like it's some biological mess of a weapon it is crazy this weapons pack is also really really cool now you can see that this weapon right here it causes myrler catchlings to burst from the target skin so you can see right there that two of them just bursted out of that dude's skin right there we also have another weapon from the pack called the face melter and the description just says the wrath of a queen and we just shoot this at them and it's sort of like acid on them and uh, really really weird another weapon from the pack would be the outbreak grenade so you throw this at someone and it causes them to turn into ghouls uh <laughs> which is crazy and the ghouls will go around uh just creating havoc so that is really, really awesome. Definitely a really interesting weapon pack to check out, guys. I'll say it once again, Noir Black puts a lot of effort into his weapon mods, and there are way more of these, so definitely check them out. I've reviewed all of them, so go back into my older videos if you really want to see reviews on them. But links are in the description, once again, to these mods if you want to check them out. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this weapon mod. We'll check out the next one, though. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so the next mod is called Mini Nuke SMG, and it is by Devil Dog D Dog. And where you find it is in the Soul Survivor's house here in Sanctuary Hills. Uh, all you have to do is just go through the front door, and it'll be literally right there in this trunk. Uh, now, I do have things placed down so it clips into them, and I picked up the weapon already. Uh, but if you do have anything placed down over here, it'll just clip into it. So be sure to remove anything that is right here in this little section of the room uh, so you could have access to the trunk so you know it's not clipping through and looking all you know weird how mine is right there but anyway we're gonna check this weapon out so it literally is what it says it is so it is an smg that shoots mini nukes and uh yeah it's pretty fun to just mess around with you can see that the saturation on my screen has just went up immensely <laughs> it's pretty uh fun to mess around with and i love using nukes in this game it's always just fun destroying things and uh, i think a lot of you people like it as well because that's really what the game is you know titled fallout you know about uh nuclear destruction so uh definitely pick this one up and uh, oh okay i <laughs> i'm dead uh next uh, next mod that's that's pretty much it so guys, next up we have the Kaboom Stick, and it is by Bald Blazer. Now, where to find it is over here at the Vault 111 entrance. You can see it is right there. It is the Kaboom Stick. It is pretty much like the weapon that you may have seen me use in a lot of my videos. Um, it's a, just a shotgun that shoots explosive rounds, but this one is like amped up a lot more than the one that I have. This one is a lot louder and a lot more powerful. So we're gonna go over here and throw down some test subjects. So uh, we can throw down some behemoths because I think this weapon can handle it and um, If I actually let me select the weapon itself So there is the kaboom stick. Let's throw down a few behemoths and yeah We'll just throw those two down you can see that you may not be able to hear me right now So I'm not gonna really talk when I'm shooting this but 
yeah, it's very, very loud and very powerful. Um, so we'll throw down one more behemoth so you could see just in one shot how much damage it would do. Um, so there you go. It almost one-shots the behemoth, so it's pretty powerful. <laughs> and it just made him fly into the air. So... This is another wacky weapon. If you guys want to try it out, definitely I would recommend doing it. And yeah, that's it. Let's check out the next weapon, guys. Now for the next weapon, I know I literally just showed this off in the previous video, but it is the Lightning Burst and it is by Ball Blazer. Now this weapon, again, can be found at the Vault 111 entrance right next to the Kaboom Stick, and it is... It's crazy. I really, really do love it. So we're going to go ahead and equip it right here and just try it out. So I have some death claws that I think these are the legendaries. Yes, they are. And I don't know. I just really, really do like this weapon. So you can see that when you shoot it, it creates this field of electricity that does damage over time. You can see their health bar does go down and I'm actually getting messed up right now. Yeah, I really did not expect this weapon to be the way it is when I downloaded it and it's really, really fun to use. So I think you guys will definitely like this and it is definitely going to be in my top 10 weapons. So try it out, guys. I would really recommend it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the weapon. Let's check out another one. I'll see you guys in just just a second. Alright guys, so the next mod is called Micro Nuke Mod 0.1 Beta and it is by Ortin. Now you may be wondering why I'm getting so much XP right now and why I'm on a different character and there are a few different reasons for that, but where to find this mod or at least the ammo for the mod, you have to come over to the Red Rocket gas station over near Sanctuary Hills and go inside of it and uh, I, this is one thing that I don't really like about the mod is the fact that you have to find the ammo separately if from everything else. Uh, so the ammo will be found in this cabinet over here. So the reason I had to go on to this character is because I deleted the cabinet on my main account. So I wasn't able to get the ammo, which is very unfortunate. So you can see the ammo it takes is micro nukes obviously um and so there it is now the reason why i'm getting so much xp is because i needed to get gun nut rank three on this character because you modify the weapons over in the weapons workbench now i believe you could also add this mod not only onto the minigun but you could add it to the hunting rifle and shotgun as well um but for right now we're going to be showing off the minigun variant because that is just the coolest variant obviously uh personally who doesn't like a minigun that shoots mini nukes. So there it is right there and um, it just looks crazy. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the mod, a minigun that shoots mini nukes, and you can see that my screen has completely just gone black from the saturation and Oh boy, this is a very fun mod to mess around with. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that you get the ammo in a settlement area because obviously, you know, it could be scrapped um, beforehand, which will then lead you to not have the mod or the ammo for the mod at least. And it's very unfortunate. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Let's check out the next mod. I'll see you guys there. Alright, so the next mod is called Mini Nuke Grenade and it is by Dark Todd. Now, where to find it is over here at the Vault 111 entrance. You just walk down to this, like, APC uh, tank thing with the back door open and go inside of it and it'll have this trunk right here with the nuke grenades inside of it. Now, it does a damage of 1,560. So, we're going to take those. Now, you can also... Oh, <laughs> I don't know why that is so close to the screen right there. Uh, but, yeah, you could also create that... That is... I hope I don't throw this, like, right right at my face. Um, this is very alarming. I really... Okay, we may instantly die, but uh, anyway, you can create these also at a chem bench. So if you don't feel like walking all the way over here, um, yeah, you could just create unlimited amounts of them at a chem bench. So um, hopefully I don't die. Let's throw it. Okay, now it was just a bug, I guess, but yeah, so just throw a bunch of them and you can see it's just a mini nuke grenade and uh, you can see there's sort of a trend with some of the mods I've been showing off that, yes, I do like mini nukes, I, I do, but they're all, they're really fun to just mess around with, um, but don't worry, that's not going to be uh, all of the mods, there are some extra ones in here that are not nukes, do not worry. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it, you can just throw around mini nukes at things and uh, yeah, blow things up.
It's pretty cool. I think it's pretty fun and useful. So yeah, try it out if you guys want to throw around some mini nukes and that is just flashing on the screen. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that did not kill me. I expected to die right there, but that's it for this mod. Check it out and let's take a look at the next one. I'll see you guys there. Next up, we have the Boxing Glove Chrome Retexture for the PS4 by Wolf Vargin, and what this mod does, it replaces all of the boxing gloves in the game with a chrome retexture, obviously, and it looks pretty cool. So we're just going to run up to Marcy Long and just punch her with this thing because I, I don't like her. I... She's annoying. She is just so annoying. I'm, I'm sorry, Marcy, but I just got to try it out on you. You're just, you, you got to go. Uh, so, oh, whoa, she just dodged it. Okay, well, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the mod. You can see it looks pretty cool with the blood on there, too. Uh, but, yeah, just gives all of the boxing gloves in the game a chrome retexture. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this mod. If you, whoa, Sturges, calm down. <laughs> Please do not blow me up. Uh, but, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this mod. If you enjoy melee weapons, you might like this one it's a pretty simple one and uh i think it looks really nice again with the blood gives her a really nice touch when you're beating things up um i'm not doing much damage at all to these people because i i'm just i don't have a melee build going on so you can see that i'm pretty weak with these but uh yeah you guys might do better if you are going for a melee build anyway let's check out the next mod guys i'll see you there so next up guys, we have the Winter Blade PS4 exclusive and it's by Scientist711 and you could find it in the basement of Jamaica Plain. Now this weapon is a sword that does cryo damage. I am... <laughs> so you can see right there, it just instantly went into effect. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it pretty much works on anything. Um, it's 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 awesome. Uh, it just freezes them. It freezes people instantly. It looks really really cool. I am a big fan of the blue on it. It really looks nice. And uh, yeah, so you could just turn things into just a frozen statue pretty much just by hitting them. And uh, yeah, I really really do. <laughs> You just send them spinning. It is awesome, guys. Definitely check this one out. I would really, really recommend it. If you're going for a melee playthrough, uh, definitely, definitely get this mod. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for it, though. Just a cryo sword that instantly, uh, you know, turns people into a frozen statue, like I said. Really cool, and it, you know, sends them spiraling sometimes, which is awesome. <laughs> Oh man, alright, let's take a look at the next mod, guys. Now guys, the last mod is called Ion Fusion Grenades for the PS4, and it is by Dark Todd. Now, what this mod does is, it is a grenade mod that can be crafted at the chem bench, um, and it does something really cool. It has a really, really awesome effect to it. So, I'm still hostile to Sanctuary, because I did just beat them up with uh, a, a chrome retextured boxing glove, but regardless, we're gonna mess them up a little bit more so uh, this may be a little bit of a spoiler for those of you who may not have played through the game to the very end or maybe not have done one of the endings this gives you the effect of when you blow up the Institute so we're gonna throw it right now and try it out it's a really really cool effect so if you guys want to see it again you know if you've blown up the Institute you really liked the effect or maybe you just don't feel like blowing up the Institute in this playthrough and just want to see uh, the effect of it this is it right here and it really really does look cool now it's really close to you so you can see that it's kind of like the texturing looks really weird obviously but if you could get past that it just it really does look awesome and it's on a smaller scale than it was when you were obviously blowing up the institute because it's in grenade form now but yeah you can see we'll throw this one at uh oh <laughs> It literally, it knocked him out. The grenade knocked him to the ground. Oh, oh, that was amazing. Oh, okay. Yeah, this this mod is really awesome, guys. Definitely check it out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for all of the mods, guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy my list of top 10 PS4 weapon mods. It's been requested for me to do some more top 10s and top 5s, so I'll give them a few shots. If you guys want to see any more top whatevers on anything just let me know next week or next video or whenever i get the video out it might be next week it might be tomorrow i have no idea but the next video should be top five minutemen mods so yeah that's pretty much that and uh yeah once again thank you guys so much for watching and thanks for all of the support 
I just can't stop throwing these grenades. They're awesome. But yeah, guys, once again, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.